The end is nowhere in sight in the Russia-Ukraine war, which has entered its third year. If anything, Russia is only beefing up its arsenal while Ukraine struggles to get more arms and aid. Despite Kiev being in urgent need for aid from its allies, the German Chancellor has defended his refusal to send Taurus long-range cruise missiles to Ukraine. Germany is the second biggest supplier of military aid to Ukraine after the United States. But for months, the German Chancellor has stalled Ukraine's desire for Taurus missiles, which have a range of up to 500 kilometers. These could, in theory, be used against targets far inside Russia. Despite being the second biggest importer of military aid to Ukraine, Germany has become cautious over sending these long-range missiles. Olaf Scholz further says prudence is not a weakness and it is something that the German citizens are entitled to. From my point of view, this is a very long-range weapon. Given the significance of not losing control over targets, this weapon could not be used without the deployment of German soldiers. I reject that. While also insisting that he trusts Kiev, Olaf Scholz said that these statements come as the Chancellor for long has emphasized his determination to help Ukraine without escalating the war and drawing Germany and NATO into it, stressing that no German soldiers will go to Ukraine. We trust Ukraine. That's why Germany is by a long distance the biggest supplier of weapons among the European states. This is great trust. For NATO, it is important that no soldier is directly involved in the war, as the Russian president has sternly warned the West against deeper involvement in the fighting, saying that such a move is fraught with the risk of a global nuclear conflict. Moscow is also ready for a nuclear war if the existence of the Russian state is threatened. Putin will not shy away from using a nuclear weapon. The warning came in response to a question whether Russia was really ready for a nuclear war. When Putin was speaking with the television and news agency RIA, that is when these remarks were made. Listen in. From a military technical point of view, we are prepared, of course. The troops are constantly in a state of combat readiness. This is first. Second, this is also a generally accepted thing. Our nuclear triad is more modern than any other triad. And only we and the Americans have such a triad. We have made much more progress here. Ours is more modern, with all the nuclear components. Now, on the other hand, Finnish Prime Minister has warned Europe. He says they should stay united against Russia, as he fears Moscow is getting ready for a long conflict against the West. Everyone has to wake up. Russia continues to commit war crimes in Ukraine. It has shifted to a war economy. Russia is evidently preparing for a long conflict with the West and prepared, uh, represents a permanent and essential military threat to Europe. 